actually have a very interesting, um, um, I met with about 48 moms. I'm in a mom group and I sent out um, private DMs because I have to keep up with market conditions and I have to talk about in my reports, what are consumers reacting to, what are they not reacting to and what's going on with the market. And so on the call, there's about 48 moms. Um, I just kind of touched base with them about uh, what's going on. And this one lady talked and she spoke and said that she uh, will probably use a real estate attorney to move forward with purchasing her home uh, because now they're looking at, you know, the news says that agents are getting thirty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 on um, commission and it's really not worth it because the first agent we ever used was so crappy and we did not like the person and it just wasn't worth it. So she ended up um, saying and giving the advice to other moms on it that they should use a real estate attorney. And so that's going back to me. I've kind of been um, on the slow side of the real estate side, but I've, you know, my appraisals have obviously kept things pushing over here. Um, that's making me realize that getting back into this, I have to keep up with um, what I know, my knowledge, and how I will represent myself as my business. Because now, what is it that I can provide and tell them why I'm any different and why should they work with me, right? Um, not only just knowledge, but what do I bring? Are there any designations and certs that I need to get to better help my business and tell them that they should work with me rather than real, with a real estate attorney? And showing them that what it... So a lot of people that you're going to work with too are not just first-time home buyers. A lot of them will have a house that they need to sell and then buy again. So you're working also with um, an older group of people. So you have to know your different levels of who you're working with. So some people will be fine with you saying, no, work with me. I've produced you know, um, this much in this amount of time that I've been a realtor and X, Y, and Z, but sometimes that's not good enough. Sometimes you have to bring forth what else is it that you have done? What designations, what certs do you have? And so that just kind of made me realize as a business owner, what is it that I can provide? And that's more of a, of a resume, right? A resume that a lot of realtors actually don't um, give to their uh, potential sellers or buyers. So what I'm seeing is that, um, and, and more moms spoke in the, um, in the group, but what I'm seeing is that um, a lot of real estate attorneys are amping up their business now and they're promoting that you can pay them a thousand to three thousand dollars to write up their contracts, look at their contracts and push the deal through. And so they're coming after our business, what we worked for, what we, uh, you know, they obviously, obviously they're real estate attorneys. So they obviously did a lot of work too, right? But their initial thing was coming at real estate from a different point. And now we're trying to save face on that aspect and then other aspects too. But how can you do that? It's just more of what it is that you are putting into your business and um, what you're putting out and showing your clients. So that's kind of what I got for you. Not so much any market trends at the moment, but so much of what I got from that meeting that I held with those moms and um, what is it that us as agents can do and come together because if not, they're going to try to come and take our business. They're trying to take our commission. So um, it's just something that we all have to collaborate and work on together.